Hey guys, Rachel here with Burp Girl. As host of Mirror in the Bathroom, I get to go through tons of celebrity bags. And of course, that also means checking out their favorite beauty products that they love to carry with them. And today, we're putting some of those products to the test in our very first Mirror in the Bathroom face-off. For our first face-off, we're challenging two stunning starlets, Cody's little sister, Allie Simpson, and this pretty little liar, Shay Mitchell. First up, the powders. Allie knows she can trust the Photoset Finishing Powder from Smashbox. The powder. Mm -hmm. Always gotta have powder because I get very, I get shiny really easily. This product supposedly can mattify anyone's face. Can't wait to try this one out. Shay on her end stayed down to earth with her favorite, L'Oreal True Match Pressed Powder. Powder, always gotta have powder with you, most mm -hmm. bright lights. This might be a safe choice for this celeb, but will a drugstore pick hold up in this face off? Stay tuned to find out. Moving on to the lips. These two ladies know how to work their lips, so this competition should be fierce. Shay was rocking Nars lip gloss. Little bit of lip gloss here and there. Her pout looked luscious, so I can't wait to see the results on mine. And for Allie, she carries around the Laura Mercier Lip Glacé. My lip gloss and lipstick, mm -hmm. my favorites. Exact same price point as Shay's pick, Allie wears this gloss every single day. Two strong choices, so I know this is gonna be a tough one. Now for this face off, I really wanna be able to compare the products. So this side of my face is gonna be Allie, and this side of my face is gonna be Shay. And I'm gonna start with the powder. So Allie uses the Smashbox powder and it's a finishing powder, so you put it on the top of your foundation. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in it. Really good at mattifying, I can tell that already. Shay actually uses a more inexpensive powder that you can find at the drugstore, so I'm really curious to see how they're gonna match up. Now, I have really oily skin, so it's gonna be a really true test of these products to see which side of my face gets shiny first. Next up is the lip gloss. Now, this is gonna look funny because they're not the same color, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh. It feels really nice, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells like a cookie or something, or a cupcake, oh, that is delicious. <laughs> now here's Shay's lip gloss. This one's a more nude color. And it's got some more sparkle to it too. It's got a really nice shine actually. Okay, it's not that bad, you know, not too much of a difference between the, the two colors. So I've got both the products on, the powder and the lip gloss. I've got Allie on this side and Shay on this side. And we're gonna see how they hold up in a day in the life of Rachel. Time to hit the books. Let's see if these products can stand a few hours of learning. Oh my gosh, okay, I just sat through an excruciatingly long two hour lecture, but my lip gloss is, they're both still there and I'm not that shiny at all. And usually after two hour lecture, I look pretty gross. So this is quite the face off. I love to work out, but sometimes my beauty products just can't keep up with my running. Crossing my fingers, Ali and Shay have that problem too. <laughs> okay, so I just did 20 minutes on the treadmill. I don't usually sweat that much in the face anyways, but I feel like the powder really, I mean, my face is like dry. It's not even a little bit oily. So that means both of these powders are pretty good and the lip gloss is on, like it's full out on. Last test of the day, the hot tub. It's part of my relaxation routine, but will the steam be too much for these four products? Everything feels pretty good. I mean, the lip gloss is still on and I can feel the powder on my face, which means that the staying power really is good, but I still have to go back upstairs to my bathroom and pick the winner. I've spent all day testing out these products and now it's time to make a decision. So I really liked initially how the Smashbox covered my shine right away. You had to put it on with a brush, so that's an extra step. And the True Match also did a great job of controlling my oil, which always is, you know, popping up in my face throughout the day. In this mirror in the bathroom face-off, for powder, the winner is... L'Oreal True Match as seen in Shea Mitchell's bag. Now it's time to talk about the lip gloss. Now this was a much harder decision because they're really similar in a lot of ways and the price point is also really similar. So 
What I liked about the Laura Mercier one that Ali Simpson had is that the color stayed on really long and it smelled really good and it's really smooth to put on. The NARS one, it was a little less smooth, it's a little sticky, and it also didn't stay on as long as so you can kind of see. And it's sparkly, which that's not for every girl. However, I really like the color of the NARS one. I love the nude thing. And also the applicator is bigger and longer, so it's a little bit easier to put on. Now for the lip gloss, this is a very tough decision. The winner is Laura Mercier Lip Glacé as seen in Ali Simpson's bag. And there you have it, my picks for the winners of the very first Mirror in the Bathroom Face Off. Have you ever tried any of these products? We want to know, so comment below and tell us which ones you like the best. And don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel, like and comment the video, and Berkeley Magazine is available now on your notes by Barnes & Noble. Bye guys!